Hello everyone, welcome to another Buddha Head SEO series episode and please check out the Buddha Head SEO videos as well to understand the context, at least we give three unique suggestions for the SEO. Before this starting, if you would like to join the topic below through the course, the gates are still open and you can check the topic below through that digital. And in this specific video, we will focus on the, the crawl stars and we will update one of the previous SEO project situation. I'm not active for this project anymore, but still, uh, articles are written by my team, plus uh, the articles are keep, kept being published by the operator as well. And I will be giving a few suggestions for you here. First of all, when you check your crawl stars, remove all anything related to the JSON. The crawlers, the Google crawlers, they don't need to see this. If you see three or two, let's say, uh, status codes here, the search engine already accepts them as 301 after five bits. So they are not temporary redirects anymore, but if you keep saying that they are temporary redirects, means that there is a conflict between what you say and what happens. And it's not a good signal because the search engine should be listening to your signals as much as possible. DNS error here is not uh, good either. In this section, please, uh, once you remove the JSON section, check this part. If you see other file, usually they are font files or GIF files, and you should remove both of them as much as possible. Try to read this if you can font file optimization if I can find my document. Yeah, I have written actually one of the most detailed font file optimization guides way earlier, like maybe four or three years ago. I don't update my articles here. Yeah, three years ago, three and a half. So check this document as much as possible. It will be helpful for you. And if you have any PDF documents, but you don't have any PDF queries, also you should remove them as well. And your JS files here, yeah, this content is not, or these JS files, if they're not related to the content, do not show them to the crawler as well. If you have too many JS files, you should be doing JavaScript tree shaking. Let me show. Try to learn what this concept means. Basically, in the tree shaking, you try to decrease the amount of variables you try to make everything very much cleaner than before. For instance, in JavaScript files, uh, if the selectors are longer, if you are using more functions, it will be slower for the user and also for the browser to render it. So there are certain rules there. And right now, since you have CSS, you can check this easily. Just upload the JS files to the ChatGPT and ask how many functions exist here, which one of them actually can be cleaned, for instance. And one thing that you can do there is basically just check what selectors the JS files are using and, and check the HTML document whether these selectors have any HTML element there or not. If they don't, it means that these selectors won't be activating or triggered as well. You can also check event listeners on the JS file then you can match them to the HTML document, but this is not for the Bluehead videos. I know I'm just giving an uh, idea. If you're not that much technical, sorry, but please keep this. Uh, smartphone over than the page resource lot is one of the important things there your discovery should be over 20 percent constantly and continuously if you can achieve that it's better if it is a news project and this will be way much higher and it should be as well if i show you the specific results here it keeps of course increasing you can just see that and also this is the specific topical map one important thing here is that multiple 20 websites will be redirected to this source it didn't happen yet once it happens the project will get very much better by it. And here, if you do some certain type of redirections, you should understand that you just don't redirect websites, you redirect a brand entity. To be able to merge all the historical data of the previous brand entity on your own brand entity, you should open this type of, let's say, certain landing pages for them and try to redirect the pricing or login or about or terms and conditions type of URLs directly to do these landing pages on the main website. This way you will be actually merging the historical data, but when it comes to homepage, it has to be redirected to your homepage as well. I believe I will have given actually over uh, three unique suggestions for this project. I always choose the unique ones and continue from there. And do not stop publishing. It's one of the most important ones. And for this project, actually it should be ranking at least 30,000 queries. It will be good enough for it to achieve as an exponential growth. It doesn't have any page rank issue in my opinion, but for competitors they have actually, they are behind them as well. Okay, so I will be moving on to the Kushadas very soon. I hope I will be in a, let's say, sunnier, hotter, warmer place. And if you would like to get our, let's say, the news, join to our newsletter, 
And before the ending, actually, I would like to thank to the Ehsan Khan for publishing his results. It means a lot. And we actually get many results, but for now, I don't have that much time to talk about it. And I decided to keep my YouTube videos short as much as possible to focus on the private community. If you want to be one of the 14 hundreds of the private community members, just join us. And I will be closing the gates. For now, I am keeping them open because I keep adding new lectures. But once the modules are completed, probably will be closing that uh, as well. And if you would like to check these video reviews, testimonials, however you call them, you, you are free to check them or watch them. There are like over 140. And it's up to you. Thanks for listening and see you next time.